Skelly. Hey, pal, watch where you throw those bloodstone things of yours. You drop them, you go pick them up, you understand? But if somebody gives you grief, you got my permission to chuck one right in his eye. I'll just aim generally for the midsection, since the eyes are a lot harder to hit in my experience. Stygius, blade of the underworld. I need your strength. Dark. Give me strength. Yeah, that Crashing waves. The trident. I have to tell you something, little Hades. My relatives and I, we've been holding back one of our greatest gifts to see if you were worthy. And you are. My aid is yours. So call me if you need anything. Especially to smash your enemies to bits. Oh, what's this? The wrath of Poseidon at my beck and call. Crushed. I mean, I know you hear me and the others, but it's so damn dark down there, I can't hear you at all. Gods. Zesty.
Poseidon sought you out already, hmm? My boastful brother gets on with Lord Hades even worse than I. So let me put a little spark into his storms for you. Is my hair sticking up? Looks clear. What is it now? Wretches of the underworld, this is your chance. Whoops. except
much better. Hello, Meg. <sighs> Even if you managed to get past me, there's no getting out of Asphodel. You saw what it was like. You really want to go back there? It's not a matter of want. The way out is there, in that direction, past the River of Flame. You're more stubborn than your father. I never thought that such a thing was possible. get you for that, Meg. Hypnos must be on break. All of this knows of him. Bestowing on him all their worthless blessings here within my realm. Our realm. Explain to me how exactly this is possible, Nix. Either your limitless power has considerably waned, or you are up to something. Do not question my power, Hades. Your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Blood and darkness, do not speak to me about their influence. I've seen their influence firsthand. You've made a foolish mistake. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You cannot change the course that has been set. Try all you like. Nix. Ah. I like the sound of this one here, good contractor. Go make it happen. There's a good boy. <laughs> Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. Um, Achilles, sir, there's something I've been wondering about your codex. The words are yours, and yet it's through my actions that I'm able to absorb them. Is that how mortal scriptures always work? Ah, you have to understand, lad. I've been here in your father's realm for quite some time. My documented learnings became bound to me, much like the spear, you see. You can undo those bindings over time. Thus, my knowledge can be yours, whatever it amounts to. I see. I think. I'm grateful for it, sir. Hey, Achilles. Look, this really isn't much, but here. This really is for me. 
You beat me to it then, as I had meant to give you this when next we spoke. Please, take it. Thanks so much, sir. Hey, welcome. Hey, the lounge is open. Greetings, broker. A commemorative board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area, celebrating and proclaiming the accomplishments of those who serve Lord Hades best of all. Won't ever see my face up on that wall, I guess. <gasps> oh, the prince himself. You want to talk to me? Me? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I uh, just wanted to say the lounge looks wonderful, as good as new. Better. I hope it's not been too much trouble patching up. I, 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 I have to clean the rafters. I... Thanks for all your hard work. Not as comfy as it looks. <laughs> Greetings, chef. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Anything on the list? You know something, boyo? I think you could do a real number on one of these columns holding up this place and bring the whole thing down in just a few swipes. Boom, boom, boom! And hate to be standing near one of them if you did. Wreck my father's finely crafted architecture every chance I get. That I can do for sure. Ready. my crusty elder brother lately, good? Big Hades, he is disagreeable with all of us, not just with you. So don't you take it personal and stick with me. It's high tide. Stand down or suffer. you didn't hear. To think that big fat oaf is your own father's brother. I'm told to be respectful near him, but it's hard. My sense is sharpened.
What is that portal thing there on the ground? some of my life essence to go in here. Ah, I don't see why not. Who or what is that? The deepest reaches of the underworld. The void from which all life and consciousness sprang forth during the dawn of time. The realm of chaos. A land almost unseen even to denizens of death's kingdom. Could you keep it down? This is not someone I recognize. So, in the name of Hades... Um, hello. May I ask who's calling? Um, have we met? We have met in a way. I know everybody here and there. Do you wish to leave this place? Then it is my wish to make your doing so a little bit more interesting. And if you encounter the other beings someday, do give them my regards. to extract the benefits a few chambers from now. Hey, Princess. Must look like I'm slacking off with the old boulder here, but I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury Sisters don't often leave me be. Where'd they go, anyway? And, um, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor, though. You see the Fury Sisters. Let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, Your Highness. I'll just go about my business now, and you take care. choice. Thank you, mate.
Care to hunt with me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Say you are a sight for sore eyes there, Charon. So, uh, looks like you're selling, is that it? You come to help me out? Brilliant. Charon, you've been such a reassuring sight, I thought I'd offer you a token of my gratitude. Wait, you don't have to give me something in return. It was a gift. Though, you're insisting, aren't you? I don't know what to say, mate. nothing. What? You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Made them mad. Spank traps everywhere. Oh, uh, hey there, Dusa. How's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. No, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. Oh. Blood and darkness. But this place is falling apart. Nobody works an honest day down here. Father, everybody's dead. Give them a break. What would you even know of honest work? At least the wretched dead yet honor me as lord. I cannot say the same for you. Your 
Your enemy is not the wretched dead, and not your father, lad. It is the underworld itself. It has been fashioned to prevent escape. You must have seen by now how all the chambers seem to rearrange themselves. The underworld itself, my enemy. I'll do my best anticipating its surprises, sir. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. Nix isn't around. Hey, I know you. I want to go lie down. I think. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? Well, I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house as Wilful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But... but father always said that Nyx was m That liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... why? Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Hmm. 
mother. I wonder, will you even remember me? Don't suppose I can talk you into fighting back this time? Not a chance, boyo. I'm paid to take it, not to dish it out. Now give it to me! Okay. <laughs> For you, mate. Thought you might get a kick out of this. For me, pal? Awful nice of you, just awful nice. But guess what? I got this for you. Tit for tat, you understand? A deal's a deal. Cheers, mate. Got something new to try. Should help. Long way to go. I think I'm ready. Again. Family. Death is your only family. Death and I. Best to get accustomed to the both of us. No, not on your life. I cannot help but wonder, dear, as why Lord Hades would have kept your mere existence hidden from us all this time. Perhaps he knew that, once you met us, you would stop at nothing to come seek us out. Love it. Expanses hidden in darkest corners of the underworld stretch well past the notice of Lord Hades himself. And yet, the interfering prince somehow discovers passage there. Wasn't all that hard to find, really. Master Chaos, everyone makes offerings to my relatives upon Olympus. I wish to make an offering to you. Thank you for everything. To make attempts to tempt me with material things. You then, please in turn allow me this attempt at reciprocity. Master Chaos, thank you. I sensed a certain rumbling here within the bowels of the earth. It is as though it had ingested something that did not sit well. Perhaps the earth itself wishes to spit you up and out.
my way. Just take that. Transgressions are not tolerated. Yeah. 
you then. I shall deal with you later, then. There. for you, mate. Care on, mate. Now, hypothetically, if I provided you with, say, a thousand coins, would you be willing to give me a ride in your beautiful boat? Upriver, I should say, specifically. I had to ask. Zagreus, your mother is long gone. You're never getting out of here, and even if you did, what hope could you possibly have in finding her up in the world out there? I have hope enough. Not that it's any of your business anymore. Your family is here, and so is your responsibility. You're running from yourself. Though, I can slow you down a bit, I think.
The ancient blood. Yeah. This holds some sort of power, but for what? I'll just be a moment, Father. What do I get? Should I take the train? Heading up. Good. Made it to Asphodel. Oh, 